Hi there, my name is Celia Dyer from Integrated Health. In this video, I'm going to, go to show you an exercise which is a progression, an advanced version of a previous video. In this video, I'm going to be showing you how to go from sitting to standing, but only on one leg. This is a really great exercise as it challenges your muscles of your legs to work really hard. And I often use it as a test to get a gauge and a sense of where your weakness is at in your movements. So, I'm sitting on any standard dining room chair. Note from the start that the lower the surface, the more challenging the exercise, and the higher the surface, the easier the exercise. We'll be starting showing you from the side angle, and then I'll show you a front angle so you can see good technique and common mistakes that I've done. So I'm going to be sitting, I'm showing you a side angle. I'm shuffling my bottom forward, so I'm sitting towards the front of the chair. You'll notice firstly my trunk is neither rounded or excessively arched. I'm just in a comfortable neutral posture. I'm going to be weight going through my right leg and my left foot is hovering off the ground. If you find it more comfortable to have your foot in front of you or in it, that's fine. Um, whatever feels more comfortable for you, but your left foot is off the ground. Then we are going to lean forward and this is going to take a lot of effort to push through the leg and stand up. And when you come down, be brave and strong. Stick your bottom out, sit down slowly with control. And again, lean forward, push through the leg strongly, come into standing and slowly lower down, sticking your bottom back, being brave and controlling your leg. Similar to the previous video, common mistakes include rocking and using momentum to get you up, which is an error, and plonking on the way down, just dropping yourself down and not controlling your weight, because we want to get control through both phases of the movement. So that's one error, using momentum and just dropping down when you sit down. The second error is excessive trunk forward leaning. So you come forward excessively and then you push up. Okay? And then when you sit down, you make the error of excessively folding your chest and hinging in and then sitting your bottom down. So that's another movement to avoid. And the third movement to avoid is excessively traveling your kneecap over your imaginary laces. So you come forward, but here you travel the kneecap forward and then you come back out. This places excessive load and unnecessary load in the front of the knee and doesn't really engage your back body. So the three movements are to avoid of momentum and just sinking with gravity on your way down. Excessive trunk folding forward in both the ascent and descent. And thirdly, traveling your kneecap forward. So I'm just going to show you what that all might look like together in a poor execution and I'll follow that with a good execution. So a poor execution might look like rocking backwards, trunk goes forward, knee travels forward and then coming up and then on the way down traveling forward, knee and then dropping down and sinking into the chair. What a good execution would look like, nice and tall posture, lean forward, pushing strongly through the leg, coming back up, and with control, be strong, sticking your bottom back up, and relaxing back down. I'm now going to show you a front angle, so you see the variation from this view. Common areas in this position as the toes are either pointing in or pointing out. Another area is excessively rolling the kneecaps in or outwards. And the final area is excessive trunk movement as you move either from side to side or leaning. So let's show a good execution. My foot is, right foot is on the ground. My left foot is there. Now many people, there's two options that happen here. Some people choose to actually place their foot in the middle. I would say keep your foot where it is. Hover your left foot up in the air come forward, you'll feel a slight shift of your weight, which is normal and excessive, but it shouldn't be excessive. That would be too excessive. A slight shift is acceptable, as you see I've done there. And push strongly through the leg. And notice that wants to go in, so you've got to work hard, okay? So if this is too challenging for you, then remember I'll show you a moment, a variation where we add the pillow in. So once again, foot, 
knee, trunk, pushing strongly, keeping that knee over your second and third toe, and slowly coming down with control. Let's show some of the errors again. That was a good execution. Let's show some poor error. Excessive trunk leaning, rolling in, and then just lunging up, and then just sitting down with our control. If that is the case, and this exercise is challenged for you, then by all means use a cushion or a pillow. Make the surface higher for you, so you find that appropriate level of challenge. It shouldn't be too easy, or nor should it be impossibly hard for you. Good. Once again, sit leaning forward, push into the leg, and coming back up. With control, slowly lowering down. And again, coming forward, push into the leg, and coming back down. It combines balance, it requires a lot of strength and control. So I use this quite often in my practice work with clients. So thank you.